What's going on guys? Shane aka Musty Ed here. I hope you're all doing great. Today is the third part in the series where we painted our AR-15 ourselves. In today's video we're showing off uh, the final product when this thing's all put together. So let's get it started. Alright guys, so like I said this is the third part where we're showing off the final end result of painting our AR-15. Now, if you missed the first couple of videos, I'll go and annotate them in the upper right corner above me. In the first video, we uh, had the rifle disassembled, kind of talked about cleaning and prepping for paint. In the second video, uh, we actually painted the rifle, the base color, and then the you know black battle worn and scraped a little bit off. And you kind of saw what it looked like at the end, but today we're showing off the rifle completely assembled, all put back together. Now, other than showing you the final part today, I also wanted to give you some tips and tricks that I learned along the way. Um, I learned something pretty important with Simple Green when cleaning your gun, so I'm not going to go over that today, but if you uh, want to check that out, it's the second video where we actually painted uh, my rifle. I kind of went over that a little bit, and what I learned there, it's definitely something you don't want to miss if you use Simple Green to prep your gun. But uh, without any further ado, uh, here is the final product. This is my personal um, Bazooka Green Battle Worn AR-15, and guys, I have to say, the camera absolutely does not do this thing justice. I posted a picture on Instagram of this thing. I looked at the videos I've recorded in B-roll and it just, it doesn't do it justice. It looks, uh, it looks fantastic. It looks like something a professional would do and I don't mean to toot my own heart. I'm just saying that it's something you guys can do at home. Uh, this thing looks so good that I've had multiple friends that have seen it in person ask me to paint their AR-15s, their guns for them. Um, I can't do that because A, I don't have enough time in my, in my life right now and B, it's, I don't think it's fair to accept payment for a spray paint job. Um, I think it's perfectly fine for personal use. Um, and if you want to do it yourself like I did, that's totally cool. I just don't want to take money for that sort of thing. Um, but it looks really good in person. So if I have to say one thing right out of the gate, it's do not be afraid to do this yourself. I wholeheartedly believe um, down in my soul that anyone with any experience uh, can do this. You just have to take that first leap and, and give it a shot yourself. But like I said, I think this truly looks as good as anything I've seen online and it's something you can easily achieve at home. So again, this is just the final final look of it. And now I just wanted to share some, uh, some tips uh, that I learned, some mistakes that I made that you can maybe learn from, you know, from me and even have a better paint job. Um, so the first thing is um, heavy coats on the black. Do not be afraid to put heavy coats on. Um, I was, I was putting coats on here and I thought it was getting too black and I thought I had ruined this rifle and I started to panic. Uh, this thing comes together, this thing comes to life when you uh, take your sand, uh, sandpaper, your brush, uh, willow, brillo brush and you start removing the black paint. So do not be afraid if you have too much on there. Um, like I said, I was panicking when I was putting this on because I thought I was putting on too heavy of coats. You can't do it. So don't worry about that. Just spray it on there. Um, and you're gonna be just fine because like I said, it's gonna, it's gonna come together when you do do all that sanding and that, um, you know, that work at the end. Uh, like I said, I was panicking. So this is the second thing. Uh, when you wipe off the black, if you do what I did where you spray it on and kind of wipe it off, uh, make sure you go all in one uh, straight direction. Um, I put those thick coats on, I did start to panic a bit. So I was rubbing this thing, you know, in a circular pattern, just trying to get that black paint off. And so now there's some spots where it doesn't, you can't see swirls, but it, it doesn't have this nice, like, uh, I don't know, even brush look like the other parts do where I learn from my mistakes. Um, it's not that big a deal for me because this is supposed to be dirt and grime and, you know, it doesn't accumulate any certain patterns or areas or anything like that. So it's not that big of a deal, but I think if you want a better end result for you guys, when you do wipe off your paint, just make sure you go in one solid direction. Like for this rail, I'd wipe it one length the whole way down. And it would just it would just fit the look of the rifle better. I mean, I had that going on on the upper and lower receiver. Hopefully I'm throwing in a bunch of B-roll so you can see what I'm talking about, uh, where those lines are straight and it looks good. Um, so that's the, the second thing is uh, when you wipe stuff off, just make sure you go all in one direction. The third thing I would say if you uh, are picky like me is make sure you really take your time and uh, make sure your masking tape, all your prep work is done very well. I don't think it's the end of the world, but you'll probably see in B-roll that, you know, around the M-Lock logos where I put tape and the Strike Industry Megafin uh, text, uh, I got a little bit of paint uh, bleeding there. Um, again, it's supposed to be battle-worn, so it shouldn't look perfect, but 
Uh, you know, for me, I just wanted things to look good. Uh, you know, make sure your tape is really nice on the rail if you do this sort of tape off thing. But uh, just take your time. All of this, um, you know, your success relies on your prep work. Uh, so take your time with that. But that's what I'll have for uh, tips and tricks. It's really that easy. Uh, you just got to throw down some paint, wait for it to dry, throw down some more paint, uh, sand it off, and you're going to be good to go. But like I said, I am... I am really astonished with how well this thing looks and that someone with me with no experience was able to get this, this type of result. Um, it looks so good that I am not even hesitating. I'm doing another AR and I'm going to do a pistol slide. I have that Canik in my gun room. I think I'm going to do the, I don't want to say Star Wars. I do want a blaster. I, I've wanted a blaster for a while. Uh, maybe not a Star Wars theme, but maybe a white slide black frame pistol. And um, I'm in the process now of kind of 3D printing my own parts uh, uh, for me and for people if they want to buy them. So I might 3D print my own um, mag extension in white to match the slide. So uh, that's that's just how easy this is to do and how fun it is to do that. It's just when you get done to have a final product that you can look at and say you did that yourself and it looks that good. It's it's great. It's almost it's it's better than when you throw a gun together. Like when I built this gun the first time, I was like, oh man, I built that thing. But man, when you get this paint job, it just throws it together. And for that one guy on the last video who said Battle Warren is for Airsoft, you're wrong. You're dead wrong. Uh, everyone in the gun industry is doing Battle Warren. Um, a lot of people are. It's definitely not an Airsoft thing. Um, but yeah, do what you want. And this is what I want to do. And this is uh, the final look at the, you know, the final end result of painting my own AR-15 with a couple of spray paint cans. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video. I hope you learned something. I hope you followed me along through the whole process and it kind of inspired you guys to do the same. Uh, this video took a lot of work, um, getting the camera moving around, building a paint booth, all that sort of stuff. Uh, so I really appreciate a like if you guys feel like giving me one, it really go a long ways with me. Uh, if you guys haven't, feel free to subscribe. If you subscribed already, uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. Um, I've teamed up with a new company and I got a sweet rifle uh, bull pup coming my way that you don't want to miss um yeah guys that's about it uh, like i said hope you enjoyed the series uh take care stay safe we'll see you next time bye-bye